hello guys uh, today we are going to uh, see how to uh, create this um, landscape deformation system with uh, multiple layers with multiple height values so it will blend uh, uh, height like this so let's go to our video first uh, let's go to our landscape material and yeah uh, let's move them for a bit and let's add the layer blend node landscape layer blend and let's add the two layers first one for snow and I will uh, add the value as preview with S1 and here uh, let's add the sand material and grass so to do that we need some materials so I will uh, get some from pixel bridge let's search for sand material we have i have a download material let's add it to our project Yeah, we have you know, and let's add this to a landscape. This is for snow, uh, no sand, and let's find another for grass. Let's wait until it finished and uh, connect this uh, snow material to the here and let's create another uh, material attributes for sand and grass. Make material attributes node and this is for sand and another one for grass. Let's connect the this sand material to here and the normal to here and let's pass our height amount through this uh, specular amount so uh, I will create a scala parameter for snow height I'll uh, give the value S1 and let's add the slider max to S1 also. This is the maximum height and another value for sand. I will uh, make sand uh, have a less height than snow, so I will add 1.5 amount as sand height 0.5. True specular and and for grass as the grass seed I uh, leave it as zero. Mm. Grass material is downloaded. So where is it? Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's connect this base color and normal map. Okay. 
and then connect this to here and connect this to here let's apply this and let's see uh, check if uh, in one of the the landscape uh, let's try uh, painting so we don't see the layers here so to fix this I will remove the material from the uh, landscape and assign again Yeah, now we have uh, layers. Uh, first, we need to make weight bended layers for each one. And then we can select layers and can uh, paint. I will make this uh, like this amount. And these are some sand amount and let's add another four grasses yeah uh, now we have these three uh, layers but it doesn't have any height uh, difference so to uh, make it let's go to a virtual height field measures uh, material let's find it yeah here uh, I pass this uh, height value through this specular value so get it and add the lerp node we need the right node and connect it to alpha and uh, if it is uh, one uh, it returns the this uh, value and if it is zero uh, let's return zero point one for long and let's check We have this uh, snow amount and we have less sand amount and oh, we still have this. Uh, I, I forgot to connect this particular to the runtime virtual text output so let's uh, check it again we have this value for snow and less amount for sand and no height for grasses but uh, still we have this uh, color change uh, let's remove it also add another lerp node from this specular value connect it to alpha and make connect this to here and connect the uh, original base color to here and connect let's see uh, we have this amount of uh, snow deformation and less amount for this sand and no deformation for grass let's connect the uh, 
grass directly from the snow. Yeah, we can see the height difference uh, is here from here. So that's it for today video guys uh, thank you for watching